right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Michael Bisping. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training, oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do. Again. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda. Okay, protect we'll yourself at all time, we'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan 
most effectively. The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Got the single collar tie. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. This thing's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, nice land there by Namako Manov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches. Not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over that time. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to ring. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Goes to the body there. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Nermago Medoff. Nice one-two there. And they separate. Oh, big head kick lands. Big body kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the clinch after clinch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Oh, significant strike. That's a quick scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. This man gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Pretty good right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Bisping gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the oh, center line. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Nermago Medov gets back up here. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Bisping gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice. Nice. Michael Bisping retreating here. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. 15 seconds. Stuffed the takedown, no problem. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Round two coming up next. Round. You look good out there. 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He blocked the punch. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offer. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Slips. Liver and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Huge block there. You got to check these low leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Massive head kick. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Bisbee. Oh, you saw us referencing the tail of the day. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. It's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush. And if you're the opponent at this point in time, you got to check something. What are you doing? You got to adjust. You got to be doing something different. Because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close. Fight chest to chest. Maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic. Don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps. You know how to check kicks. Just take your time. Be comfortable. Get that leg up. It's only going to take one great check. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. Nice punch by Nevado Meadow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Doubling up on the jab. Beautiful head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. A little single collar tie there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Leg kick. Back and forth we go here. Found the target with that left hand. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Single 
Collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he eats a knee. Powerful leg kick, man. Oh. Adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be Good night, Irene. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. And he landed the right hand there. Bisping gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but it is. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. his opponent's midsection here in this round. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, nice. Big kick lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And they separate. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to pray. 
aggressive. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Gets up again here, but hurt. Nice. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice. This big lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Wow! He's out! Goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knock. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knock. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.